So you decide, who gives better information? Coach Greg, who used to sell steroids 10 years ago, or Joe Donnelly? Coach Greg, and guess who's at it now? Joe Donnelly. Who is Joe Donnelly? I didn't know. Apparently, he decided to go after Coach Greg. I got the screenshots, gonna show you what he says about me, and then I'm gonna show what he says about you. So I go on his Instagram and says he has over 500,000 followers. But does he really have 500,000 followers? Did he buy the followers? Are they fake followers? Well, I'm going to present the argument. I'm going to show you the stats on Social Blade on his Instagram following. I'm going to compare his to mine. I only have 340,000 followers. Less than him or do I really? Going to show you the evidence, allow you to decide for yourself. But first, let's see where did this all start. Thoughts on Greg Doucette. Good info source. Question mark. So what does he think? Didn't he get busted for smuggling steroids across the border and is currently banned from competing? Have you ever heard of what an ad hominem attack is? This is when the person attacks the character, motive, or some other attribute of the person making an argument rather than attacking the substance of the argument itself. So he's not talking about the information I provide. Do I give out good information, bad information? Is it lies, spews? No, he's not talking about, am I saying the correct things? He's saying, did he use to sell steroids? What does that have to do with, am I providing quality information now? What does something you did 10 years ago have to do with if you provide quality scientific information now? And is this guy natural? Is he claiming to be 100% natural? I don't know. I don't watch. I don't follow this guy. But is he in fact natural? Because it would be pretty hypocritical for him to attack somebody that was selling PDs if he was using them. Wouldn't that be odd? Wouldn't that be weird? Wouldn't that be a hypocritical thing to do? Then he said, isn't he banned from competing? I got caught four days after I won my pro card, have been competing ever since. I am being pro bodybuilder, not banned from competing in bodybuilding. You guys ask me about random bodybuilders or idiot fitness personalities, and the truth is I pay zero attention to any of them. These guys are scamming people $800 for a cut and paste nutrition plan, and I'm growing a company by seven figures every single month. We are not the same. Lions don't ask for the opinions of sheep. Do I look like I sell copy and paste plans for $800? Charge a lot more and they're custom plans. Is it a scam when you give the person exactly what they want? And oftentimes better than they ever dreamed. And let's quickly look. Do you think he has real followers or fake followers? Let's see. Notice in green the followers. I see 942, 1,032, 1,151, 1,051. Bunch of green numbers, as in I'm getting more followers. Last 30 days, 18,750. Let's compare this to his followers. See all the red? Red indicates followers are going away. And what do you think happened? Suddenly, 1,174 on that day. What a special day. Then a bunch of red, then 2,431. Wow. Wonder what happened there. Notice, did Coach Greg have a single line that was red? Versus, what does he look like? And let's further expand this. We see two months of information. Notice, 0,328, 4,511 new followers in one day. That's more than I've ever had in my whole life. And what happened for the two weeks prior? I see a lot of red. But suddenly, oh, everyone came to my channel. Because I'm Joe Donnelly. I'm an athlete. I play football. You know, I was in the NFL. Even though I never played any games, I was in the NFL. I'm an athlete. So listen to me. My supplements are the best. So great. It's crazy how you talk to customers. People need tough love. Nick and I built a hundred plus million dollar company during a pandemic. Tell me I'm wrong. 
Oh, really? A hundred million dollar company on 500,000 followers on Instagram barely could find anything on you on YouTube. Don't even know if you have a YouTube channel. So you're telling me that during this pandemic, the same time that I went from almost none to over a million followers, you made a hundred million dollar company. Even Jason Blaha made a video on this guy talking about how he uses ad hominem attacks. Even Jason Blaha from five years ago. So he's claiming he's growing by over seven figures a month. Growing by over a million dollars a month. Wow, that's amazing. It has a hundred million dollar plus company. Wow, with hardly any followers. I wonder who's buying these products. And to think I'd never even heard of him, yet he has one of the most successful businesses in the world. And red marks on the social blade showing that a lot of people are unfollowing him. And why would people unfollow this guy? Well, let's see the kind of advice, the kind of information. How does he treat people? He must treat people kindly. He must treat everyone like a circle. Well, let's see. Any opinion on the vertical diet? None. No opinion. So he can't even say, I agree or disagree. Just no opinion. So he's asked, does Katie underscore Sauger look like a bodybuilder? No idea, but you look like a chubby trans woman. Oh, he apologizes. Well, thank goodness. Apologize for my last joke calling that guy a trans woman. Well, finally, something respectful. Apologies for calling you trans woman. I've never seen any trans woman look like that beta ass liberal spilled milk bloated man titty douchebag. That's the kind of information he says. Yet I'm the bad person because I used to sell PDs 10 years ago. I'm the bad guy. A guy with another guy in a profile pic going to message a girl. Weird. His response. She just said the same thing. First thoughts, he's gay crying face so let's make fun of guys who have two guys in a display picture because you can't show another guy in a display photo with yourself could be your boyfriend could be your brother does that somehow make me lower than other people oh but does he give out quality information well maybe he does i mean he's promoting some hrt class let's see what does he know about pds what is the recommended on off for trt as far as number of weeks TRT is in steroids, you dumb cookbook moron. Well, rather than that, he could have said TRT stands for testosterone replacement therapy and testosterone is a steroid and it's given at a low dose that you should take year round. You don't actually cycle on or off TRT. It's something meant to do for the rest of your life. He's literally getting it wrong and then saying the person who asked it's a moron. They're asking, they're trying to learn. They might be a moron, but they're trying to learn. They're trying to get smarter. And you know how they can? They come to my channel and I answer those questions. You start out as a moron and the more videos you watch by me, smarter you get. Joe Donnelly, he's just gonna insult you, make fun of you and give out misinformation. It's crazy how you talk to customers. His response, well, people need tough love. Nick and I built a hundred plus million dollar company during a pandemic. Tell me I'm wrong. Sure, you're wrong. You are wrong. You do not need to treat people this way. I'm quite certain you don't need to make fun of a person's sexual orientation to sell a product. Pretty sure you don't need to be homophobic or transphobic to sell product. Tough love? That's fine, but when you're giving out inaccurate information and insulting people because of their gender or their sexual orientation, that's too far. Best meal to eat pre-workout and how long to eat before workout? Great question, let's see what he says. Why on earth would you eat pre-workout? Well, they might be hungry. They might not have eaten for four hours. They need some carbs, some energy before the gym to fuel their workout. Maybe they haven't had protein in a while and they wanna have muscle protein synthesis occur. Why would you limit blood flow into the muscle because you are digesting food? What is wrong with you idiots? Does this sound like a scientifically trained and educated individual? Does he have a master's in kinesiology? Coach Greg does, but I used to sell steroids. 
And I'm not allowed to compete. Ad hominem attack. So you decide. Who gives better information? Coach Greg, who used to sell steroids 10 years ago, or Joe Donnelly? Ending it here. Greg Doucette.com for coaching. Greg Doucette IP Pro. The bloops are over there. Watch one of the bloops. Subscribe. Click the bell button. Follow me on the gram or the talk. Don't forget, buy my freaking cookbooks and the trading book. Don't forget about the trading book. And until next time, I am out.